Today is not a good day. As you can see, I'm about 70% of the way through this cleaning up the spar. And while I've noticed there's these small little nicks, as I clean more and more, we're getting into these bad boys. Um, where is it at? Uh, camera's off. There it is. You see that one? And then you got this one. Kind of hard because the viewfinder and the camera are in two different places. But, uh, and then you can see here's a, here's a seam. Come on, focus it. It doesn't want to focus. I can't find a good spot to focus on. Let me see. Here we go. You could see there's a seam running down right here. I think that's a manufacturing thing because it's way too straight for me to have done it. So, I mean, it looks like there's a seam right here. And it goes down. You can see it go down the entire length. I don't think that's an issue. I think the bigger issue is that these little bastards. And they appear to be where the ribs were. So wherever there was a rib seemed to be having those little wear marks. Let's see if I can find any more. I mean, everything else, it cleaned up, the spar cleaned up really good. So you can't see any of those other marks. I mean, this here looks bad, but it barely catches my nail. That barely catches a nail. So I think those could be dressed out. Here's another catches my nail. I don't know what's underneath this, but I think that's fairly good. But those were where ribs were. And as I turn it over, they seem to be the only spots because this right here would have been the tip. And this back here would be the root, the root. And see, here's another one. Here's some more scratches. And here's some more scratches. So I'm not sure how or why these things got there. But if I follow my fingers on, my fingers on the one of the bigger scratches on the bottom, if I follow it up and around, it comes right here so there was definitely some ribs wobbling around marking up these marking up these spars now I did email the factory rep the engineer guy and I was told anything deeper than 50 thousandths was quote cause for rejection now I don't have any kind of depth gauge on me now so I really can't go by anything other than visual but I'm gonna say that's well well farther than 50 thousandths I mean I really don't have a precision tool on me yeah it doesn't do nothing I don't have a precision tool but I mean I'm that's gotta be more than 50 thousand if it's not I mean hooray yeah, it's not there you go. So let me focus on it there. So like I said, I'm thinking that's got to be more than 50 thousandths. And like I said, rib, rib, rib. And that's the only three places. So right about here would have been where the fuel cells ended. And we do know that they went in there and reskinned it and did some other work. So the other spar kind of has the same predicament it's got a big gash on the top um like i said i i don't want to throw them away because really they're of no value um you can't use them as, as extensions not if you stick with the uh, 2024 because they're the same out they're the same diameter i can't slide one of these into the other ones i would need a bigger piece like that for it to slide into and I don't know if I could simply re-index it. See, these are these holes here. This is one of the uh, 
see there, goes on the outside. And this one screw, this one bolt right here, that nut plate right there, that guy, held in by not even high locks. Looks like just regular AVEX rivets. And they don't look like they're even AVEX rivets. They look like they're just regular non-structural rivets. That's the only thing that keeps this from squishing in and out. And that's where this guy goes. So, and I'm, yeah, and see, I don't know what the hell this is for. I, I don't know. But, uh, oh, I'm in the wrong end, that's why. Stupid me making a mistake. This is the end that's going in. Here, this is my bolt hole right here. See, there's only one hole here because this is the root, and the root has all the stresses on it. Now, I do have a couple of these things, and again, this is where a rib would have been. This is not very deep at all. That looks ugly, but it doesn't seem to want to hurt anything. So, I mean, it's right in the middle of the rib. I mean, if it was out there, I probably wouldn't worry about it so much, but it's right in the middle. I mean, that's... These three right here really bother me. I mean, if I could measure them and they came out at 50 thousandths, I could dress them. But for right now, I'm going to see if I can mount up the wing and see where they actually lie. I mean, if this is the bolt index hole, then this would be the, the, the top proper, and they're right on the top. Now, I've read that some people have twit turned turned the spar so if they had defects it would keep them off uh wing spar this side will be in compression this side will be in tension so i mean honestly there's not going to be a lot of shear action on this it's going to be all of a compression force the wing is going to want to the wing is going to want to bend up like this and actually squeeze these together but i guess the, the issue is going to be that this is a stress riser um you know the, the ring is may fold at that point but from what i understand of tube spars which isn't a whole lot that's really not really not an issue i mean because we still have all of this webbing is good all of this is good and all of this is good so what are the odds are that normal flight i'm going to see something at the top pop open you know, this would be, I could always put in an inspection plate. You know, I can always mark and check and stop drill these things. They're not cracks. They're just, they're like wear marks. That's the best that I could put them. Something wore against it. That's a stupid dog. So I'm going to see if I can't mount it up in there, get it set and see how it looks. But for right now, I'm 60% sure I'm going to scrap this unless I can find an absolute answer on what to do um, because again there's only those three marks everything else looks good so I'll, I'll try to mount it up tonight see if I can't get it in there and we'll see where they actually lie